Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing first person shooter, probably archery. Uh, game is in the style of Surgeon Simulator where it has really cumbersome controls for basic tasks. So I'll show you what it's like here. Uh, use the mouse to manipulate different joints on your arms. Uh, if you don't hold down any buttons, it manipulates your wrist. If you hold down the E, hit your elbow, and then Q for your shoulder. And then if you hold down shift, it'll do the same sort of things for your left arm. So what I'll do is, what I usually do, which is get my left arm into position here. So I can try to get at some of these targets. And then if you hold down the left mouse button, it grabs an arrow. And then you have to kind of get your hand near the string, and then you hold down the right mouse button, and that'll load it. And then I remove the left arrow to kind of get it where I want it to go. Pull back, let go of the thing, and there you go. So it took, as you might imagine, some time uh, to kind of get the controls down. Let's see here. You know, like I said, they are intentionally difficult. I'll move this over here. There we go. Uh, you know, basically it just kind of slows you down. Uh, but as you can see, you can get pretty decent at the game. So we'll go back out to the menu here. Uh, the game comes with a number of single player modes, uh, which I'll run through all of them actually to show how difficult they are. In addition to that, it has multiplayer. Although usually the uh, multiplayer servers are not very populated. It has a uh, team deathmatch, has cooperative against, you know, kind of an AI horde. It has this weird zombie soccer mode, uh, which I'll show off real quick. There you go. Because you can actually start the game by. Uh, basically what you do is you move using the W, A, S, and D keys. You attack these little zombies. And then uh, you kind of go up to the kick or to the ball and then kick it using the space bar. So, you know, it basically just uses the physics engine of the game uh, as sort of a little diversion. Actually, the controls aren't in the same spirit as the rest of the game, which is very odd. It's just a really weird, uh, you know, inclusion to the game. Out of my way. So, anyway, there's that. Uh, so let's run through the rest of the games here. So in this mode, we can skip the intro. You basically have to shoot the apple that's on top of the apple. So I'll attempt my best to do that. I will miss, most likely. Alright. One in my right arm here. There we go. And something like that. Hey, I got it. Nice. So there you go. There's that one. Even though I couldn't see it, I got it. This one's a little horde mode. Uh, so I kind of have to be a little bit quick about it here. You gotta take care of the little waves of people. And that wasn't close enough. Neither is that. And now I'm running out of time. Ah, I missed. Alright, let's try that again. Like I said, you have to be pretty quick about it. And no real room for error. Ah, come on. Oof, barely got him. I'm totally in trouble now, though. Alright. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, you get the idea there. Yeah, I died. Uh, and then things escalate quickly after that. You have some advanced targets you can practice against. Uh, if you so choose. So I'll try to get this here. There we go. And I'll try to hit some of these targets here. Have it back and just wait for them to kind of come back here. Hey, I got one. So I think I'm better uh, with it without the, uh, you know, the time.
time constraint. Whee! There we go. So, advanced targets. Uh, Warband, which actually has you firing against a whole bunch of enemies, you and kind of a team of people uh, simultaneously here. So we'll try this and see how terrible we can do in this mode. There we go, and we'll aim, and we'll kind of go like that. See how that works. Thing C, and that was not even close to being far enough. You can see it kind of readjusts your. All right, this should be closer now. Yeah, I got a couple guys. All right, come on. Yeah, we're gonna die here in a little bit. Ah! Okay, there we go. No, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> All right. Uh, next is this uh, mode where you have to shoot the egg, as it says. All right, here we go. Let's try to get this up here. And good luck with this. All right. All right, come on, egg. There you are. Nope. Oh, you stink, egg. All right, let's get ready to go. So you can see the, uh, you know, level of control you have. All intentional. Um, I think that overall it has a little bit more appeal than Surgeon Simulator just because there's you know a competitive nature of it. I kinda like to see a little bit more variety in the multiplayer modes. Um, you know there's a nice variety of single player content, a little contest on the that. Uh, but you know you kinda run out of stuff to do fairly quickly. Um, go on the noose, so you gotta hit the noose. Yep. All right. And this is way too quick for me to kind of figure out what to do here. All right, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite. All right, and then one more, just basically the same thing in zero. So I got to shoot this guy again here. Before he gets you. Alright. Should be right there. Oh, no. Shoot. Ooh, there we go. And zero G. Whee! Alright, let's see here. Hit some of these targets. There we go. Yep. Almost got that one. There we go. Well, there we go. That's uh, and that's the game. That's all the little mini games that it has. Uh, and then a look at you know multiplayer is basically the same thing, although there's rarely people online to play against. Uh, and then the zombie soccer mode, which doesn't really have much of anything to do with the rest of the game. Um, so you know, I think it's the type of game that's interesting just to try to get used to the controls. Uh, and then you probably run through uh, pretty much all the enjoyment in about an hour or so. Unless you have a really high interest in skill-based, uh, you know, archery-type games with uh, purposely difficult controls. And I don't think the game has much longevity uh, compared to other more accessible games. So that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.